In today's video, I'm going to share with you from a developer's perspective the new changes that are in WordPress. If you want to see this more, then watch over the video. We're going to see how the new robots API works. If you want to jump straight to that, just go into the video chapters and click to the next chapter that talks about the robots API. We're going to see how the new changes in the colors of WordPress and how that affects the admin area and your plugins. We'll talk about lazy loading in iframes and about the cleanup in jQuery. If this is what you want to see, then continue in the video or check out the video chapters in the description to see the different sections you just want to visit. Otherwise, let's jump into the video. I know you've probably seen a couple of videos talking about WordPress 5.7, but I'm going to pick out a couple of things that should interest you as a developer. Of course, this comes with a lot of changes. Right now I'm running the WordPress 5.6.2 on my server, my local server, and I'm going to just update this to 5.7. There are a few things that you're going to see that are going to change in the dashboard itself but that's because WordPress keeps on becoming better and better over time. So I'll click update here, and I'll click update now, and you'll see that we have this new 5.7, I'm on the latest version, of course we are told what's going to happen, the editor has become better, you have things like drag and drop of the different items, so basically that means if I open up a new post, I should be able to just click this plus button, get a heading, hold it, come and drop it, and we'll have it available ready for me to add a heading right in here. I can go back to the same thing, and then I'll drag and drop, maybe a, tr a table, and I can put it right there. This is the step that's needed to take WordPress into a fledged full site editing experience that's being worked on right now. So in the editor this is something that's happened, but I just want to focus on a couple of things that I think that are really key for us as developers, and you can see they are highlighted in the blog post where we are seeing the simple color palette that's been changed, that's going to affect the way our plugins look like in the administrative area. If you look right now you'll see that we have this little side handler coming in with this, uh, whenever I hover over, let's say, WooCommerce or Pages right here, the difference is what you're seeing on the side. Initially, we had 5.6 giving us the blue there, but now we have a different shade of blue here. So they've got all the different palettes and they have sort of made them easier. If I drag over this, you can actually see, as I drag over this, you can see right down here, you have a bit of different shades of color showing up you will not see so many differences, especially with the text, it's so subtle, because the colors have been unified to become more or less the same, so that's something that you're seeing with the different color pickers. The next that we're seeing is this HTTP in a single click, so if I go to the tools and then I go to site health, you'll see how we can change our sites that we are maintaining from HTTP to HTTPS in a single click, of course before we've been using plugins like Simple SSL to help us migrate our sites to fully HTTPS without writing any code, but now this is embedded inside the site health, and the way you do that is first of all you need to turn on SSL on your server, then you'll go to the tools, go to site health, when you click it you'll be able to see a single click for you to change your site to HTTPS. The other three items that I left to talk about are the robots API that we are going to see in a little while, I'm going to give you an example. We have jQuery still being cleaned up, and this is breaking a lot of plugins and themes, so what you need to do to avoid this is to go into your plugin section, go to add, and then search for enable jQuery migrate helper, this is the plugin you'll need once you install it and activate it, that will help you through the transition as you change your jQuery to the latest model of 3.51, that's now what's default in WordPress. The next item is adding lazy loading, of course this improves SEO, but it also improves the user experience of your sites. 
for people who go on the front page of your site and probably they're going to see that you've embedded YouTube videos, for example, these come with an iframe automatically. They come with an iframe automatically, as you can see right here in the code, I've showed you that this loads with an iframe, and because WordPress by default is now adding lazy loading to these iframes, it allows for this YouTube video to load as the user scrolls to this portion in the front page. So that makes it so cool, it's now as good as when we had the images lazy loading. It means you'll have faster page load, it means you'll have better SEO, it will also mean that you're working with the environment and only loading what you need to see at that particular time. So the last bit that I want to talk about is the new robots API. Now I know many people are not looking at this, but this should excite people who are into SEO mainly. Now what's this robots API? I'll throw this link in the video description and you'll be able to read it, but the robots API is targeting the metadata inside our head whenever we have WordPress loading, and they have introduced a new WP robots function, of course deprecating a couple of those that are old, and what this new robots function is doing is basically giving us a hook and the hook that we'll be getting is the WP robots. So this filter hook will allow us to change a couple of things. For example, we can be able to turn on and turn off the content max-image-preview from large to whatever version we want, and basically this makes it that search engines should be able to show large preview images of our websites. Let's say we've set our images and they are big enough that makes it possible for us to get better traffic from search engines because people see a nice graphic on our website and they're thinking, hmm, I want to go visit this site because it has an exciting picture. Now of course we can remove because by default we're going to have this showing up in our site. We can remove this filter or we can use it to enhance and do so many other things. So that's what we are going to do. So what I'm going to do right now is go into my editor, I'll go into my website and what I'm going to do is go into my content, I'll go into my themes, and I'm using the storefront theme right now, so I'll drag this, drop it in my editor, I'll open up my functions.php because that's where I'm going to write my PHP, but for now let's first go and see what happens on the front end. Now because I'm loading this site, I'm going to go and view the page source, I'll just inspect the element, we'll go to the header, and you're going to see that in the head right now we have our meta showing that the robots should actually see the maximum image preview which is large. So the first thing that we learned from this blog post is that we can actually turn this off, let's say we like to use very small images, we don't have the large ones, so I'll just copy this, and then come back to our functions of PHP, I'm going to paste it, and this is going to remove the filter that will disable this particular filter of WP underscore robots. So I'm going to save this, we'll reload the page, and when you go to look inside the head, you'll see that we no longer have this meta that shows us any robots inside our head at all. So what we're going to do is now try to change everything up. So I'm going to comment this out because this is going to remove the robots, remove meta for robots, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add filter and I'm going to edit the filter, the tag that we need is just the same as above, WP robots, and we're going to add our own function, I'm going to just pick this, I'll just add on turkey press to give it a different prefix, so we have this function that we're going to pick, and then I'm going to add a semicolon here so that it's proper PHP, add the function with the name, and then I'll complete our function. Now this function receives particular arguments in it or parameters which I'm going to call robots, so I'm going to vadamp this, robots, of course add robots here, 
and then I just want to return the robot so that we don't break whatever is going through. I have a little typo here which I need to correct and say robots, save this, come back reload, and you'll see that we have the max image preview that is large. So what we're going to do is we're going to go inside this array and we're going to turn off this max preview. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab this piece of the array, I'm going to copy it, come back into my code right here, I'm going to look for the robots, and inside the robots array I'm going to get this max image preview, and what I'm going to say is let this be false. If I save this, reload here, you will see that we don't have that meta showing up in here, and of course this is false, but what we can do also at this point is I'm going to duplicate what we have here, and I'm going to choose to say let's have the follow, because we want our robots to follow, I'm going to add true in here. When I reload it, you'll actually see that we have the meta robots follow is actually working. So you can do a lot more with the robots API by unsetting things that are in there, removing them, and putting others just using a few lines of code. Now of course this will make SEO people happy, because they can sort of work with the different things inside the head of WordPress. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, don't forget to check out the video description for other videos and other important information, otherwise share it with a friend, don't forget to subscribe if you're new here, and happy coding!